Hi, everybody, and welcome. This is Visible Lady of Faith coming to you with an overview of the Sunday School lesson entitled, Nathan Condemns David, for Sunday, February the 6th, 2022. I just want to remind y'all to like, subscribe, share, and comment on this video. Also, hit the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload new content to this channel. When someone calls us out for something we said or did just that just wasn't quite right, do we get angry or defensive? Yes, I did the other day. I was watching one of those moral programs and my son reminded me how I had not communicated openly with him growing up. I immediately got angry and started yelling at him. And he's 30 something. That situation of me not communicating openly with, openly with him in our past still hurts me today. I know it's in the past, but I still feel bad about it. But we have a more open and transparent relationship now. How someone speaks to us, the tone, the motive, the words they choose can make a difference between how we receive their, wor their words. If we are in a leadership position, or not, we are expected to have integrity and to treat people fairly and be open to constructive criticism. Someone may say something about us that we aren't aware of or have not noticed. So if it's brought to our attention, we can do something about it if we want to. How do we deal with our anger? Do we pass the blame or judge as David did when Nathan told him about how a rich man used the poor man's sheep to prepare a meal for a stranger or traveler. Nathan let David know that this was something he had done. Do we, do we do things out of revenge, hold a grudge, or do something we will be sorry for? Or do we try to correct the situation? Having the courage to own up to our own actions and mistakes is a step in the right direction in terms of making progress with our personal and spiritual growth. David owned up to what he did without making excuses or twisting the truth. If the amount of sheep and cattle you had determined your wealth, David was wealthy. That's why there was no reason why he should have taken the poor man's you to cook and serve to the traveler. Hospitality seems to have been an expected tradition back in the day like it is sometimes today. People were expected to offer meals to those who came by the house to visit when traveling. What we choose to say and how we choose to say it can make a difference between a peaceful conversation versus getting into an argument. Making accusations and perceptions in the form of questions may be another way to get information about a situation or a misunderstanding. Something we perceive as neutral may be perceived as negative by someone else. Negative perceptions can change our behavior and attitude towards whatever. This is why communicating clearly in our conversations and asking questions is helpful. <laughs> 